Hi, Room 20. We're back again today to start off a new lesson in Unit 6. Today we're going to practice Unit 6, Lesson 5, but just the first part today. Just like the last few lessons, we're going to break this up into two pieces to make it a little bit more manageable. Today, our topic is on quick adding. Let's get started. Now, sometimes we are given problems where we are asked to add them quickly in our heads without writing them down in any way. Now, sometimes these might get tricky and we might need to add them using our up and down standard algorithm. But some problems, like the ones that you see here on the screen, we can just simply add in our heads. And I'm going to share today some strategies to help you with that. Let's look at the first problem. 300 plus 200. Now, I see I have a 3 in the hundreds place and a 2 in the hundreds place. Now, I know 3 plus 2 very quickly. 3, 4, 5. So 300 plus 200 gives me 500. I don't have to write any problems down. I don't have to make an up and down equation. I can simply just put the two together in my head. Let's look at the next problem. I have 60 and 40. So 6 tenths and 4 tenths. Let's see. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tens. And you all know what 10 tens is, don't you? 10 tens is 100. So I can think of 60 and 40 as tens four tens and six tens. And I can use my adding skills in my head to add them up pretty quickly. Now the next one looks very tricky. Seven plus 330. Now let's take a look at our smaller number, seven. Seven is in the ones place. So the only number I need to look at in the next number, 330, is the ones place. Now, I have seven ones and zero ones. So now I just have seven ones. So to add these two up, I can keep my three hundreds, keep my three tens, but instead of zero ones, I can replace it and put seven ones. It's almost like I'm adding straight up and down, but I don't have to write it on my paper or on my board. The next one is 40 plus 10, so four tens plus one ten, so four tens and one more, that's five tens, and five tens is worth 50. And the last one is another one of those, kind of like this one right up here. Let's take a look. I have 370 plus 10. Now, since I'm dealing with a 10, I'm going to look at the tens place. Now on 370, that's where that 7 is. Now right now, in 370, I have 7 tens. But I need to add one more 10. So what's 7 tens plus one more 10? 8 tens. So I get to keep my 300, but next I'm going to write my 8 tens and I still have zero ones. Let's look at one more set of examples. Starting at the top, we have 14 plus 500. Now I'm kind of thinking about this one in expanded form. I'm gonna say the bigger number first though, that helps me. 500 plus 14, hmm, 500, 14. And since I have 14, I know the 14 is in the tens and the ones place. The tens and the ones place on 500 is just zero. So I can simply just replace those numbers. 500, 14, if I put it together, I get 514. Next, I have 30 plus seven. Ooh, seven is in the ones place. It's just one digit. So I'm gonna look at the ones place on my 30. 30 plus seven, that sure sounds like expanded form too, doesn't it? 37, 37, I can just push the two together to make one number. 
The next one is very similar to the top problem. You can see I have 400 with two zeros and I have 43 with a 10 and a 1. So 400, 43, if I put them together, I get 443. Two more examples to go. The next example is 80 plus 4. Now 4 is in my ones place, so I'm going to look at the ones place on 80, and it's a zero, so I have four ones plus zero ones. I think that's four ones. So 80 plus 4 is 84. And then the last problem, I have 700 plus 300. Hmm, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundred. Hmm, I wonder how many 10 hundreds would give us. Do you have an idea? 10 hundreds gives us 1,000. So for that number, I'm gonna put my one, then a comma, since I always put a comma for a thousand, and then three zeros. 10 is like our magical number in math, isn't it? 10 ones gives us a 10. 10 tens gives us a hundred. 10 hundreds gives us a thousand. So 10 is that magical number that always works out.